guys welcome back to another video this is code for us round 894 div 3 and we gonna solve the third problem that is flat city friends so let's see what the problem states so they are introducing us to the person called as anya and anya has to build a fence for herself so the fence is like in uh, made up of wooden planks stacked one after the other the only condition is for uh, every i less than j they are telling that ai should greater than or equal to aj so that's what they gave in the condition that means if it is 5 this should be 4 3 2 like that and it can also be the case that this can also be 5 it can be same but it should be constantly decreasing now Anya is curious to know whether the fence is symmetrical or not what how do they define symmetry here is if uh, starting from left to right they want the fences are vertical right if you put it horizontally and stack one after the other and make a diagonal out of it from the center uh, you should be able to know whether both of them look same or not so that's what they told in other words will she get the same fence if she lays all the planks horizontally in the same order so this also looks like these both look the same right so that's it and now uh, let's imagine a case where n equal to 3 and 4 to 1 if she lays 4 here horizontally two here horizontally and one here horizontally and if you compare both of them both of them are very different right and if you compare the diagonal also both of them are not symmetrical so we want to show uh, we want to know whether uh, the given fence format is symmetrical or not so for that let's understand with the help of an example so i made this beautiful colors here let's try to understand it so according to the first one they told that it is Five. so this is 5 and uh, this is 4 this is 3 and this is 2 and this is 1 these they have given as input what do we do we have to know whether it's symmetrical or not so we have laid everything horizontally that is the 5 unit one is laid horizontally first 4 is laid horizontally one after the other 3 is laid horizontally 2 is laid horizontally and 1 is laid horizontally now after all of this uh, we need to make an observation. How do we find out if it's symmetrical or not? By looking at it, we can say a symmetry, right? Because this is 5 units, this is also 5, 4, this is also 4, height, 3, height, 3, height, 2, height, 1, height. And uh, if you fold it di uh, diagonally also, it looks symmetrical. But how do you prove that? That means the height of all of this is exactly the same as height of each of the plank in this one. So if we observe one thing, we understand that the width of this is turning as the height here, right? The width of this is turning as the height here. This width is the height here. So this width is the height here. So if you see, the collective width of all of this is coming as the collective height of all. So what did we understand? So first we can track what are all the uh, widths that are possible. So for the first unit, right? For the first unit, if you observe one thing, the first unit will always be the same as the size of all the elements, right? This is five means the uh, if we lay it horizontally it should be the number n so what is that it is for simplicity i am using one indexing okay one based indexing so a of one is equal to equal to n so the first condition is the first number should always be same as n it cannot increase and uh, so what happens is i say that there is one unit here what is the size of this this is just let's assume it's just one unit now I can say that if I lay down horizontally, where will it land? If I lay down horizontally, it will land to the fifth position. So fifth position, I got a height of one. So I'm just adding one here, okay? Now, if I take four, when I stack it above the one, where will it go? It will go to the fourth position, right? If the, size, the height of this is four, if I stack it, it will become to the fourth position, one, two, three, four then I increment 1 that is the size of this is 1 only and similarly for 3 I stack it horizontally the what is the size of this this is also 1 similarly for this the size of this is also 1 you put 1 and similarly you put 1 okay now we individually got uh, the horizontal position horizontal sizes now we want to know the collective sizes of all the things the collective sizes is for one first one it's always the one now for the second one we got we already know that the size is one but we have to take into account the blue height also right the blue height is already coming from the right side 
So this right side gets added here. So what happens? It is 1 plus 1 that is 2. Okay. Now you go here. This yellow side is already given here as 1. Now who, what is the height of red and blue? That is coming from the previous element. So 2 plus 1 is what? 3. Similarly green side is already given by here that is 1. Uh, for yellow, red and violet we are taking from right side that is 3 plus 1 that is 4. Similarly for here 5. Now what, what just happened? Uh, the height of the first segment, height of the first, the initial fence was 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. After laying down horizontally one after the other, we individually got the height of, uh, the width got converted to height and we collectively got the height of everything. Now both of them got equal. Since both of them are equal, we are just saying that it is symmetrical. Now we got, we understood that this is the point here, but we want to prove it with the help of an more example. So let's take one more example. So here they told this is also in the example test case 53311. So what did they say? You lay down uh, each one, one after the other, so that both of their heights remain the same. That is, they are symmetrical. Now, what is the first condition? If the first number should be exactly same as the all the n elements, that is, a of 1 is always equal to n. So does phi match all the elements? So phi uh, is the first element and phi is the total number of elements. So both are matched. Once both are matched, we understood that the width of this is 1. So once you lay it horizontally, it will be in the fifth position. The fifth position's height will be 1. Now go to the uh, second position. Second, what is second? The height is 3. So if you lay it horizontally in the third position, the height is 1. And for uh, this one, for uh, 3, again, if, if you lay it, it is the same position. So you increment one more, 2. And now for green and yellow, what happens if you lay it? It will be in the first position. There are two elements. So 1, then again you put 2. Now, you do the same logic here. That is for this height, 1. And uh, this height, we don't know. There is nothing here. So 0 plus the previous element, 1. That is 1 plus 0 is 1. Now what is this? We already know that the yellow and green's unique height is 2 but we want to take into account violet's height also. So 2 plus 1, this one came here and this is 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1 becomes 3. Here nothing more is here, so exactly it's also 0, 3. Now here 2 is already taken into account but uh, yellow, red and green, yellow, red and violet is coming from the right side. So 3 plus 2 is how much? This is 5. So now you see both of them are same. So this set of heights even after laying horizontally, the set of heights, all of them are same. So that's how we get it. Now let's quickly see how the problem, uh, how it says. V of 1 is not equal to n. Again, I'm saying it is one based indexing. V of 1 is not equal to n, no. So why did we do that? Because uh, let's say there are two elements and they are giving us 6 and 1. Okay. So 6 will be something like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And there is one element. Okay. If you lay it, there are no six elements, right? There are no n elements. It will be one. It obviously we can say that this is not symmetrical. So that's why we kept the first condition that is v of one is not equal to n. So definitely the answer is no. Now, uh, v i equal to one, i less than equal to n, i plus plus. Rotate it is just a vector. This shows uh, for each of the plank when I place it horizontally, where will that position go? So that is if I place this red color horizontally. The height of this is 3. This 3 is inside V of i. Okay, this is 3. Then rotated of 3 plus plus. Rotated of 3 means this side. This one plus plus. I incremented. Yellow means again rotated of 3 plus plus. 1 becomes 2. So similarly like that, I am just mapping what are all the unique numbers. For each of the column, if I flip it, where does that column get positioned? So that's where rotated gives. Now, what is the next thing? I got the unique values. I want to know what are the planks that are placed below it. So below it is coming from the right side, right? So that right side is that rotated of i plus equal to i plus 1. I'm just merging everything. Once everything is merged, I'm just comparing whether the first number is same as the second set. So the vertical set is same as the horizontal set. If both of the things are same. Uh, we just say we have solved the solution and we just say uh, it is symmetrical. So that's all like uh, it is very simple like you take all the vertical numbers you just make it horizontal we, from this we understood that uh, the vertical's width is the horizontal's height so we know the ending position you just increment where is it resting where is it resting like that then you take 
what could be the height of all the widths together then uh, you just compare if it is same it, it's uh, equal now this is the submission link i'll attach it in the description so that's all guys if you like the video please share your comments uh, and see you in the next video